Good afternoon. Uh, raise your hand to ask questions. We'll pass the mic to you. Hey, Tom, how much do you enjoy being the underdog and that being, how much of a motivating factor is that for you? It doesn't happen very much. Uh, I don't think about it too much, you know, what people might say or think, but um, you know, we're playing against a very good football team, and, uh, you know, they're the first first seed for a reason. They've had a great season, and, uh, you know, we're going to have to go into a really tough environment and play our best football. So it should be a, uh, you know, it's a great opportunity for us, and uh, hopefully we can take advantage of it. Hey. Um, oh, I'm, man, you've been around a while. I know. I'm back. Good. It's playoffs. It's a big week. Um, I wanted to ask you about fourth down. And hey. you guys used to go for it a ton. I was looking at it. You guys went for it over 20 times each season, 06 through 08, 09. And then you've tapered off a little bit. But the way Kansas City plays, they're so explosive and dangerous, and the possessions are going to be at such a premium. Does using all four downs for you guys offensively become maybe a strategic point as well? Could I'll be. I mean, I, I think situationally, however, you know, the game's going. And, you know, I think when sometimes you get in the games and, you know, offensively you're doing really well and you feel like, you know, if, if we have that extra down, we, we can get it. You know, sometimes it's not going as well, and you feel like, you know, they've been stopping us, and and then you punt. So I don't know what those particular reasons were. I'm sure there was a reason for all of those, why we would go for them, why we wouldn't. Um, how many times did we go for it this year? 14. 14? 50%. 50%? It's not very good. Did you feel emboldened ever to, to lobby for it? Or do you kind of um, just I mean, we talk about a lot of scenarios for the game and so forth. So um, whatever the, the situation presents, I think we'll try to, you know, do what's best or what we think is best or gives us the best opportunity to win. So it's one game, you know. If you don't win, that's it. That's what the playoffs are about. And uh, you're right. They got, a, they got a great offense. We're going to need to score a lot of points. Tom, is there a constant that you can point to that you can see why the team keeps going to these AFC championship games? Our team? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's what happens organizational-wise or team-wise for these opportunities to keep happening? I'm not – I've never sat to think about any of those things. I mean, I, I really haven't thought about anything, anything like that. Tom, with uh, cold weather um, and elements in mind, what are the factors that you, you consider whether to wear a glove on either hand um, going into this game? And yeah, it's, it's, it's obviously, you know, weather's a factor anytime you play in January, you know, in these colder climates in, you know, Kansas City. Um, obviously a cold climate, they're used to it. Um, we've been practicing it for the last two months. It hasn't been extreme cold, but it's been cold enough to know you know what you got to wear and you know how you got to deal with it the best way you can um you know i play in a lot of games over the years where where weather's a factor so you know you just dress for it and and uh you know hopefully our blood's thickened up enough here being in the northeast to deal with some of the cold which i think it has and even days like this to today they're cold and they do a good job preparing you um it'll be colder sunday than it's been at any point this year so um, have a little mental toughness, a little physical toughness, and, uh, you know, just deal with it the best you can. Tom, Bob Sutton, somebody whose defenses you guys are pretty familiar with between his time in Kansas City and with the Jets. How would you characterize his defenses? And yeah. is this a week where you guys feel like because of your experience against him, you have a pretty good idea of what you might be seeing? Yeah, we played him quite a bit over the years, and um, you know, obviously very well coached offensively, defensively, special teams. You know, Bob Sutton's a hell of a coordinator. Um, you know, they've had some incredible units that we played against. They've got, uh, you know, playmakers. You know, at each level, they've got um, obviously a good scheme. Um, you know, they make you work for it. You know, it's a very tough, hard-nosed team, and you know, they compete on every snap. They've been in a lot of close games this year, and. Um, you know, it's a great challenge for us. I don't think you can take anything for granted. These guys are going to play extremely hard, and they rush well. Um, you know, they they try to be stout and they're against the run. They got some good, you know, hard nosed linebackers, 
and the secondary, you know, they're not afraid to tackle. They'll go up there and, and mix it up with everyone. And, you know, that's a lot of what our first game was like. There was a lot of battles at the line of scrimmage. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to win our fair share. Hi, Karen. Hi. Uh, Tom, uh, last week's performance against the Chargers is a performance, I think, that you collectively as an offense is, is what you've been striving to achieve all year. What's it going to take to, like, back it up and, and repeat that performance uh, next week? Yeah, it's going to be, you know, I think we talk about in these games, it's not like a special play or, you know, there's a special formula. It's it's just, you know, excelling at the right time, you know, and, you know, there's no play you can call. This is guaranteed 10 yards here. or This is, this is a defense that gets up in your face and they try to challenge you and they, they don't make yards easy and we're just going to, we're going to have to go dig them out, you know. We're going to have to fight for every yard, you know, toughness, effort. Um, you know, all those things play into it, obviously, scheme and execution. But I think some intangible things are very important about, you know, finishing blocks and out-efforting out efforting the guy that's over the top of you or winning your one-on-one -on -one matchup and pass, you know, running your pass route, you know, because these guys, they, you know, they, that's, what, that's what they're trying to do too. And, you know, even the first game we played against them, you know, we had some opportunities that we, you know, came up with down the field. There was other ones we were really close and we just didn't. And, uh you know, that could be the difference, you know, and you never know which play it's going to be, and I think everyone's going to be counted on. you got to, you know, similar to last week, it's about, you know, distributing the ball to everybody, making them defend everybody on the field and run, pass, everything. And that's, you know, that's why we were effective last week, and hopefully that's why we're effective this week. Tom, I've got two quick ones for you, if you don't mind. Uh, you guys are three-point underdogs uh, going into this game. It's the first time the Patriots have an underdog with you at quarterback in three or four years now. Just how does that feel? being the, the, the underdog going into this one? Doesn't change much for us, but it just, you know, shows you kind of what, you know, people would think about, you know, what our chances are. That's about it. Doesn't, doesn't. No more added comment to that. Uh, extra motivation at all? Um, I mean, if you're not motivated this week, you got a major problem. I mean, this is, this is the week where, you know, you shouldn't have to put any extra in. This is, this is what it's all about. You, you know, you sign up any chance you get to play an AFC championship game. So I don't care where, when, time, cold, weather, rain, blood, don't matter. Um, also, you guys have been excellent at home this year, 9-0, and but struggling on the road, 3-5. and Why do you think you guys have struggled so much on the road this year? You know, I think I just look at those games individually, and I can, you know, I know why we haven't won those games individually. Um, I don't think it's a, you know, broad sweeping thing. It was a little bit in each game, and I think the point of that is it's, you know, this is not the week to have less than our best. So it's a tough game. It's a tough challenge. It's tough to beat the number one seed on the road. I mean, that's the reality. It's just like we're tough to beat at home when we're the number one seed. It's, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of good football. Um, you know, it takes a great complimentary game. All three phases have to be on point. We're going against a team that scores a lot of points. They lead the league in sacks, strip sacks. Um, you know, it's a good group. And and I think everybody at every position has to play well. That's what that's what championship games are all about. These aren't just handed to you on a silver platter and you know here you go. Here's your trip to the Super Bowl. It's you got to go fight them out. We've been in a lot of games that come down right to the end. Tom, has has the 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 use and the effectiveness of the 21 and 22 personnel sort of helped you maybe establish an offensive identity late in the year after some of the things that you went through earlier? I think those, you know, are good groupings for us. You know, I think I mean, we have confidence in whatever grouping we, we put out there or else, you know, the reality is we wouldn't put it out there. And I think those groups are good. It's certainly a style of football we like to play, and it sets up a lot of things. You know, obviously running the ball and then play options off the run game, you know, are very important. They help you create space. It's impossible to create space in the defense, drop back pass like you can when you play action and you can displace underneath coverage and so forth. Um but yeah, both those are going to be effective, and and you know, I, you know, we'll see as the game plan shakes out what we use more of, and um, but you know, every player is ready to go, and you know, who's ever called on has to go out there and execute their job, run, pass, whatever it is. Bill talked this morning about how different both teams are from the last time you guys met in October. Um, he said he thinks you guys have gotten better. I'm just curious your opinion after everything you guys have been through where you think this team stands right now compared to October? Yeah, hopefully we've improved. I think, you know, we've worked pretty hard. You've 
put a lot of time and energy into it, and you're at a point where, you know, this is as many practices as, we, as we've had, as much as this team's been together, it's a lot of communication, a lot of meetings, you know, a lot of things that we've tried that maybe haven't worked, and, and uh, you know, you're, we got one game guaranteed this Sunday, but nothing beyond that, so, you know, whatever we got, it's just the best that we got, and it's, uh, you know, that's how it should be in these games. Tom, you've, you've been Those playing long enough. Right yeah, I know. <laughs> a lot of years. Right. Uh, speaking of that, you've been playing long enough where your kids are older now. Yep. How cool are these moments, these games now for them and for your family? It's different now, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely different than when I was, you know, young and very little responsibility. And, and now kids, it's, um, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's, a, it's great for me. My daughter's six. You know, she's a great cheerleader for us. My oldest son is into every play my middle son is not into any play and uh it's it's perfect so you know we get to talk about it on the way home and um you know they're understanding more and more but they're still my kids so they don't they don't care much about that they'd rather hang with Gronk and Jules and all those other guys my oldest son Jack does a little bit you know he he, he can analyze it pretty good uh, Tom, just comment on the way James White has shown up on big games for you guys these past couple of years. James has, you know, been an exceptional player for us, obviously in the biggest games, and we have so much trust in him and his ability to make the right decision. Uh, he's great with the ball in his hands, run game, pass game. Just been an exceptional player in, in every way, great teammate. And, uh, you know, they don't make too many like him. So I think we're all lucky to have him on our team, playing, competing, and, uh, you know, so it's about playing your best in the biggest games. James always done that. Big Ten guy. I know. Love those Big Ten guys. Where's he at? Thank you.